Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So today we are discussing Harry and Meghan. Really, here we go. <laughs> Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy one. The disgruntled royals, the celebrities who just want privacy. We want privacy, we want privacy. And will literally go on tours and write books and start podcasts and do Netflix docu-series to tell you how much privacy they want and how much distance they want from the royal family, even though all of that content that they do is somehow about the royal family. Now we have not talked about them in a while, at least not since this past summer when Spotify just gloriously dropped Megan's done of a podcast and ended their $20 million deal with a couple. But we are back because they're back and they have some updates. But before we do, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and then ring that notification bell so you never miss one of our comment section episodes or one of our Friday live streams. All right, so the first thing to note for some additional context is that at the beginning of February, King Charles, Prince Harry's father, was diagnosed with cancer. This is from the BBC. King Charles diagnosed with cancer, Buckingham Palace says. And almost immediately, he paused his public appearances. He's taken a step back while he's going through treatment. Prince William, who is next in line for the throne, has taken on more responsibility in the past month, but he has not been appointed to counselor of the state in any, you know, official capacity. He's not stepping in for his father. He is simultaneously also helping his wife, Princess Catherine, recover after she was in the hospital for 13 days after a very serious abdominal surgery. So obviously, there's a lot going on with the royal family. There's a lot going on at home, very serious stuff. So Harry, amidst all of this, jet set it back to the UK, but apparently it was his shortest trip yet. He went to just drop in on his father, say hi, and when he was asked about his family later that week, this is what he said. Just physically being in California, how have you processed the fact that there's so much happening back uh, with your family where you come from? I have my own family, right. so, as we all do, yeah. right? So, um, you know, my family and my life in California is, is, is as it is. You know, I will, I've got you know, other trips planned um, that would take me through the UK or back to the UK. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll stop in and, and see my family as much as I can. So his father, whether you like him or not, is diagnosed with cancer. His brother is taking on incredible responsibility. His wife is sick. And the only thing that he can say is, I have my own family. Yeah, maybe I'll stop through. Maybe I'll just <laughs> pop in, but I've got my own thing going on as we all do. Okay, yes, obviously, when you are an adult and you get married, you have children, you do create your own family, but that does not mean that you just completely disconnect from your birth family. Like he is trying to, but this is the weird part. He tries to distance himself from them, at every turn, accusing them of awful things involving Meghan, pointing fingers, writing a whole book about them. But then when it's advantageous to he and Meghan, especially financially, then they go back and they, you know, make sure that those ties are tight. We're gonna talk about that later, but it's very, very weird. But that clip obviously rubbed me the wrong way because you couldn't have had even a semblance of grace, maybe some courtesy, even just for PR purposes. But maybe at this point, they know that people will just dislike whatever they do. So they are just leaning in and not acting anymore. Somebody commented and said, seriously, Brittany, broaden your perspective beyond one aspect. There is little to say as he has severed any ties with them through his disloyalty. Shunned and bitter for being cut off financially, this spoiled, entitled brat is at the bottom of the pecking order. Expecting genuine empathy from him would be like expecting a bear to do ballet unlikely and awkward. If he attempts empathy, it is bound to seem disingenuous, inviting even more flack, stopping dramatic. I mean, the lady is not wrong. So again, maybe they are just pulling back the curtain now. Somebody else said the trip to the UK to see his father was simply optics as he had a trophy to present in this current trip to Canada, hence he slotted King Charles in so he wouldn't be called out further for not caring. Yet he does not care. Another person said, ah, suddenly now he has his own family. But he kept demanding money from Her Majesty, the late queen, and his father aggressively for the last four years and still wants to milk titles gifted by the royal family. If you have your own family, Harold, why not get a job and live as the Markles? Harold! So good, again, another mic drop. And you know, that commenter is right. They are milking their titles. And the timing of this is all just so odd. Just a couple seconds ago, I said that they try to distance themselves until it is financially advantageous or you know, publicity-wise it is advantageous and that is happening right now. So again, for more context, back in 2020, obviously they had their very public split from the royal family. They stopped being senior working royals. They moved to California. They were allegedly cut off. It was very dramatic. And then they proceeded to give countless interviews and write books about how terrible the royal family was all while positioning themselves as the victim of disdain and harsh treatment from their family. And they haven't used their titles since then. They are the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I believe that they have three other titles that Queen Elizabeth gave them when they got married, but that is the primary one that they have used in the past. And while this was going on, they created Archwell, which was the umbrella company for all of their different endeavors, specifically in the entertainment sphere. And then they also created the Archwell Foundation for their philanthropic work. And they had a website that talked about them, talked about their company, all of that. But randomly, guys, this is where it starts to get good. This is where TikTok started popping off. A week after King Charles's diagnosis, 
they debuted a brand new website, Sussex.com. Here it is, the office of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And right up there is their official royal crest. Dun, dun, dun. So obviously people online were like, oh my God, are they going back into the fold? Maybe it's because of King Charles. You know, they're going back. This is so wonderful. They've changed. No, they are simply rebranding and trying to align themselves with the royal family because maybe that will work better for them than what they have been doing, which has obviously been failing. Now, people in England and the royalists specifically are not happy. Somebody tweeted and said, Harry and Meghan are still branding themselves as the Sussexes. They abandoned their duty to this country, insulted our people in history, mocked our traditions, and undermined our monarchy. The brass to keep parasiting off of this title. Somebody else said, the registration of Sussex.com is a new low for even our world-class grifters. When all else fails, let's just go back to merching our royal links. Somebody else said, I suppose, it is an appropriate name. Everything they do is sus, and they are both ex-royal working. Another person said, the Royal News Network said, um, these two nincompoops do realize that they are not Sussex, right? The gall of buying Sussex.com, including a royal crest, though they hate the royals, is ridiculous. And I completely agree, if I am being honest, because you have done so much work. You have literally branded yourselves as the anti-royal family. We just want to be normal. You know, we're just here at our house in Montecito with our chickens, Oprah. We're just totally fine. But now you want to be royal again because your deal with Spotify fell through and Netflix isn't going so well and they don't want to produce anything else for you. So now you're going to try something different. Like that is what this feels like. Now, even though I agree with that sentiment, it is important to note that even though they are no longer these senior working royals, they are still the Duke and Duchess. Those titles were given to them by the late queen. They have not been stripped of them. They cannot be stripped of them as of right now. So they are free to use them. They just have not been using them for the last four years. So why now? That is the suspicious part. Like, are they plotting some kind of return in the event that King Charles dies? Like, are they just really holding out for that life insurance money? Speaking of life insurance, nobody likes to talk about it, but it is incredibly important. So this year, start your financial planning by shopping with Policy Genius. You can find the right policy to protect your family today and give yourself the peace of mind that comes with knowing that if anything happens to you, your family could cover all of their expenses while getting back on their feet. Policy Genius's technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks. Life insurance through your workplace may not offer enough protection for your family's needs, and some plans may not follow you if you leave your job. So you need to make sure that you are on top of it. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for a million dollars of coverage. Some options offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams that often come with getting life insurance policies. Policy Genius has licensed agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. When they make it this easy, there is no excuse not to do it. And I know a lot of you might be like, Brett, I'm 20 years old, I'm 18 years old, why am I doing this? But if you are getting married, if you're starting a family, if you have people that are dependent upon you, it is time to do this. It is the right thing to do. It protects those around you. It will give you peace of mind. And one of the best parts of Policy Genius is that they work for you, not the insurance companies, which means that they don't have the incentive to recommend one insurer over the other so you can truly trust their guidance. So save time and money and give your family a financial safety net with Policy Genius. Head to policygenius.com slash Cooper or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quote and see how much you could save. Again, that is policygenius.com slash Cooper today. I don't even want to bet how big that life insurance policy is on King Charles. Granted, there's a lot of money in the royal family, but seriously, like, maybe they're trying to get back in. Maybe they see this as an avenue. You built fame and a brand built off of hating your family and everything that the royal family stands for. But now, after deals have fallen through, you're in a pinch. You've decided that now is the time to bring it all back, title and crest and all, right as your father has been diagnosed with cancer and your family is weakened. It just seems strange. Now, people are so disgusted that one conservative lawmaker in England has proposed a bill that would formally remove these titles from Harry and Meghan. Quote, the decision may prove to be a gamble as a prominent voice calling for the removal of the titles is conservative lawmaker Bob Seeley, who in December of 2023 put forward a bill petitioning for the amendment of the Titles Deprivation Act of 1917, which would deprive in certain circumstances the princes of their British dignities and titles. In an opinion article written for the Mail Online prior to presenting his bill, which followed the publication of the highly controversial royal biography Endgame by Omid Scooby, Seeley wrote of Harry and Meghan saying, I believe it is time that they dropped their titles or were made to and lived by their own talents, if they have any to speak of. He went on to add, quote, the sooner the Duke and Duchess become just Mr. and Mrs. Sussex, the better for us all. Now, this bill is going to be discussed and I believe voted on in June. So Harry and Meg better tread lightly if they want to keep profiting off of this image and these titles. But guys, this isn't all because the announcements kept coming. Now, after this new website was debuted and announced, y'all are going to be thrilled about this. Megan's podcast is coming back. Thunderous applause, everybody. I know you have been waiting for this moment. So if you missed it, Megan had a $20 million deal with Spotify. She did a whopping 12 
episodes of her podcast called Archetypes. 12 for $20 million. She did 12 episodes. I don't like how much money is that? Lady, I do two a day. Get with the program. I think I said that in the episode that I did about it. She was also accused of not even doing the interviews herself and passing that on to a producer. The podcast just did not perform well overall. Spotify canceled it. We have a couple of episodes about this saga and I highly recommend going and watching them. We'll link them below because the drama was high. The leaks from Spotify, all the information, it was fascinating. I had a good time covering that. Anyway, she has now signed with a new production company to bring it back. This is from She Finds. Meghan Markle has a new podcast deal after her $20 million Spotify one was a, quote, disaster. And in her statement, Meghan said, I am proud to now be able to share that I am joining the brilliant team at Lemonada to continue my love of podcasting. Being able to support a female-founded company with a roster of thought-provoking and highly entertaining podcasts is a fantastic way to kick off 2024. Our plan to re-release archetypes so that more people can now have access to it, as well as launching a dynamic new podcast are well in the works. I am eager to be able to share it soon, and I am overjoyed to be joining the Lemonada family. Oh yes, good. Re-release it. That will be a game changer for sure, because you know, Spotify is such a little platform. You know, nobody can find it. Nobody can listen to the podcast. So I'm so glad you're going to re-release it for everybody. The Lemonada team said that they are beyond honored that Megan has trusted us to help democratize access to archetypes and that so many more people around the world will have access to the series soon. Megan's talent as a host, creator, and conversationalist or her producer's conversationalist abilities, is unparalleled and we are thrilled to go create a new series with her that fosters her approach to creating art that matters. Her? I don't need to be a hater. Maybe this will be a better fit. Based on what I have seen about Lemonada, it seems like their brands are more aligned than her brand was with Spotify. Lemonada seems to excel at producing these kind of like mini series type podcasts for female celebrities. After Jeanette McCurdy's book came out, she did like a year long podcast with Lemonada. She just ended it. It was not supposed to go on forever. Like that is what they do. That's what they excel at. So who knows? Maybe this will work for Megan. Maybe if they are stripped of their titles, everything will be just fine. But either way, Megan and Harry have had a big month. They are making lots of moves, and per usual, they are continuing to try and ride the coattails of the people that they allegedly hate and who did them so wrong, which is the part that rubs me the wrong way because it literally makes no sense. It is just plain hypocrisy. They are the epitome of the bratty, victim-centered culture that plagues our society, and I really struggle to find any sympathy whatsoever. Well, guys, I hope you liked this episode. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. See you guys next time.